stuck in traffic, which I wouldn't mind had we won that game, but as we chucked it away in the last five minutes, I'm a little bit frustrated. Um, frustrating game in the end, I thought obviously the first half we played very, very, very well. We've made a lot of chances, but unfortunately we couldn't expand on our lead, just just the one goal. I think if we'd, we'd have got the second, we'd have gone on to, to win the game quite comfortably. I feared that Huddersfield would be a different side in the second half, and they were, but then annoying that after it looked like we'd weathered that almighty storm that had been going on in the second half, that another mistake has cost us. I feel really sorry for Gallini because I think he's really, every game he's played, he's, he's played well. He's just been punished with two, two clearances now, and both times it's proved costly. I mean, nine times out of ten that ball would hit that guy and go over the bar or go wide, but just seems to be the way Galini's look is it's it's nestled in the back of the net but I think four points from those two home games I think most Villa fans would have taken that after the start that we've had with two defeats I think it's important that we as fans now look at the, the positive side because I think we've played well in, in both home games we've created a lot of chances and I think we're still a couple of players short and those players will come um, I think we've got good coaching staff in place and a good manager I mean my only criticism of Dima Taylor tonight would be that I think the subs maybe could have come 10-15 minutes earlier but then obviously when they did come we ended up shipping so it's one of those um, but overall I'm, I'm quite happy with the way we're looking it's, it's a big improvement on last season the players are playing for the shirt and that's that's what we want to see at the end of the day and that's what we weren't seeing last season so credit to Dean Matteo and credit to the players as well because they are putting it in at the moment and I think as the season goes on the more they put it in the more rewards they'll get so Fingers crossed and I think on, on to Saturday where I feel we're definitely capable of going there and get three points.